From your hairbrush to your shower to your car, the technology at this year's Consumer Electronics Show aims to make things around your home smarter. And instead of using just your hands to control them, you're using your voice. These are all about speakers connected in your home, like the Amazon Alexa, the Google Home, Siri integrations through HomeKit, so you can ask Siri to change the temperature and do all kinds of cool stuff like that. Brighter, sharper televisions are a big attraction, and this year, there's a bit of a twist. We're going to see a lot of flexible screens, a lot of big curved displays on laptops. Car makers have an even bigger presence at this CES as they show off concept cars, self-driving technology, and greater connectivity with your home. We're going to see a lot about self-driving cars. We're seeing a lot about new ways of manufacturing cars and new ways in which cars actually talk to your house. So really exciting field here is what happens when you're in your car and your car can communicate with the rest of your life. Wearables are moving beyond smartwatches and fitness trackers. Now you can monitor contractions, help grow more hair, or control your music. So we start to think about wearables not just as something that you put on your wrist or your lapel, but as the sensors that are integrated into your life all the way across the board from your car to your bedroom. For the latest news on CES, be sure to check out CNET.com. In Las Vegas, I'm Kara Suboy, CNET.com for CBS News.